With your first news at six sports, here's Lee Timmerman. Just four days after losing the season opener, the Vikings have a game in Philadelphia tonight. And I think you can easily make the case the Vikings played well enough to beat the Buccaneers, but in the end, they did not. And the reason for the loss is easy to find, according to Justin Jefferson. All they had to do was look in the mirror. The opportunities that we had left out on the field that we could have capitalized on, uh, the turnovers that we had, uh, I mean, just things to hurt ourselves. Uh, and, you know, we felt like we, we should have and could have won that game. The guy who throws Jefferson the ball says there are challenges to having to play on the short week. It's amazing what you can get done in a short amount of time. It makes you wonder if you need Sunday to Sunday sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, usually Thursday is about when my body starts to turn the corner. So by the time you get the kickoff, you're feeling good. And uh, um, it's always nice, you know, to have the, the chance to catch your breath after the game, too which you don't get from a Sunday to Sunday schedule. The Eagles are coming off a close win to start the season. Now NFL history shows it's difficult to make the playoffs if you start the season 0-2. UND has a chance to beat an FBS team this week and they'll be playing on the blue turf in Boise. After two games, the Fighting Hawks lead the nation in total offense with nearly 550 yards per game. Quarterback Tommy Schuster is also completing 77% of his passes. And one of the unique things about Saturday's game is the start. 10 a.m. Mountain Time. And we're a morning practice team. It's 11 o'clock our time, which we should be able to handle it. We discussed it with our team yesterday already, and we just got to be able to handle it because we want to stay into our pregame routine. Boise State is 0-2 with losses to Washington and Central Florida. UND has wins over Drake and Northern Arizona to start the season. North Dakota State is hosting Central Arkansas in its final pre-conference game. The best defensive lineman on the field is going to be in, in white. Um, they have a defensive end, um, David Walker, who was a tremendous football player, had 13 sacks last year. Their other defensive end, I think, had eight. I mean, they had over 20 combined. And so we, we can't have mental errors. We can't have silly penalties if we want to have success against this football team this week. The Bison played Central Arkansas back in the COVID fall of 2020. It ended up being the final game for Trey Lance. You marry us at Northern State on Saturday. The Marauders have a 6 p.m. kickoff this weekend. We've got some um, young guys at some important positions that haven't played a lot of downs. So um, we're trying to develop some depth, and we think we've made progress. But I think they're playing hard. They're buying into that, uh, the attitude that we got to play hard, play with some energy and excitement. The Marauders did beat the Wolves last year in Bismarck. Dickinson State has the weekend off after a 2-1 start. The Blue Hawks open the conference season next Saturday at Waldorf. And Umary has hired Abby Lowell to be the swimming coach. She competed for the Marauders in her college days, and she coached on the D1 level last year. like to have athletes return to coach. Exactly. All right, we'll be right back after this.